Hey, look. You see this picture here? Yeah. That's the old blast furnace. All this I drew from memory, you know. Didn't have photographs and things. Yeah. That's what we used to do all our watches. Is it? Well, they were the wash women. You used to like to sit and watch. And this is me when I used to lead a blind man around and take up nickels and dimes and pennies for him. And this is the guy they called Cheese. He used to play the piano from uh, Birmingham, Alabama. This was old lady Satterfield, a village mother. You know, she's over 100 years old. That's the old hearse. And this is the house where she lived. I've been exposed to music all my life. The town that I grew up in was called the Folly, Tennessee. There were 11 of us in the family all those older than me to play some instrument. So I started off playing music but listened to my dad and he, he gave me some instructions on the mandolin and whatnot because after he got into the preaching business they decided he and his church members that that was the devil's instrument and it wasn't becoming for a minister to play string music so he threw his whole mandolin in my lap. See this is a picture I know you recognize, old photograph. Sure. We used to play in all of them hedges and highways, street corners and everywhere. Country fairs. And you know during that time there was a whole lot of black fiddles who could really play. But they couldn't get in to compete with the white fiddle players. Never could. They never let me get in on a fiddles contest. And they were guys in there fiddling and scraping. Couldn't play a damn enough music to keep the flies off a dog dick. <laughs> People didn't know, especially those in the cities, you know, that black people, you know, black musicians, string bands, whatnot, played country music too. And we used to play hold downs and all that sort of music, like Ivan Reed, John Henry, and uh, Captain Henry. That's really a hard number to do. 